Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove an item from array using Vue.js. I know you can do it in JavaScript, but in Vue.js it is a little bit different. So in the previous vi previous video, we started adding the to-do app. You know, we can write something here and it will add that to the list. Now I want to have a little I X icon here. When I, whenever I click on that one, it should remove that from the to-do list here. So you will learn so many new things here. So let's start. If I come to the view component here, what I am going to do is I am going to write a span tag here, and then I will write a, a small little x here. I will give it a class so that we can design it. Let's say the class name is remove. So all the way down here, I will give it a little bit of styling. If I save it for now, Let's check we have an X icon here. So it does not have any styling. So I will paste a little. Okay, I don't have anything to paste. So I will write a little design for this one. So here is the little design snippet I have here. So if I come to the design, it will look like this. You have an X button here. Whenever I click on this one, it should remove the current item from the array. So if I come here, so far we have just added the class for the click event of course you know here is the click event i will call a function called remove whenever someone click on this one it should call the function remove so if i come all the way down here under the method add i will add the remove function here now how you are going to remove the current item here whenever someone click on this one it should delete the current array here so let's say more things to do so here are we have three items whenever we click on the first one it should send the id of the first one for now it does not have any id how you can identify which one you have clicked in vue.js you can give it indexing indexing is uh, sometimes it is necessary for every array you must have for example if I come to my the, the, in the file for the ES ignore, let's remove this code for now. And if I save it, coming to the component, now what we can do is we can save our file. Sometimes it is going to give you the error whenever you create the loop. For example, if I press enter here, now it gives me a little warning here. There is underline rate here. If you see this error or this warning, what this is going to say, you do not have any if you click here you should be able to yeah we uh, they expect a we bind key here which we do not have the reason it does not show for us it was because we have disabled eslint in all our is javascript if you see that error that error is because of as i said because we do not specify any indexing for our loop here so for now we don't see the, any error but we know we need the indexing we have to know the position of the loop here so how you do that in vue.js here is the to do what you can do is you can put this inside the bracket think of it as a function and this function is going to accept the second parameter let's say index and now the first one contain the data for our uh, array here which is going to be each item in the to do and the second parameter or the second value for this is going to be the position which is start from zero you know javascript uh, array or start uh, the array position start from zero so this one will show the position of your array so to prove that what i am going to do is i am going to pass the index function here whenever someone click on this one it should send the index or the position of current array to the function remove so here we will take that one and i will console dot lock for now the id and let's see if this is correct i will save it let's come to our application i open the developer tool here going to the console okay what we can do is i will go to the console yeah i click on this one it sent me the zero which shows the position of the current array here so what if we have more more to do list now we have three of them here so if i click on the second one this is going to be one because the top one is 
0 1 2 and this is going to be 2 if you click on this one 2 1 0 2 1 0 is going to send that now we know how we can give it the index if you can find the index of an array you can remove it using a splice right that is easy like in JavaScript you can do this dot to do's dot splice a splice it is a function in JavaScript the first parameter is going to say the the starting point of the array what is the starting point of the array it is going to be the ID and the second parameter is going to be how you can give this one actually now we know that the ID is going to be the position we pass here for the second one which one you are going to take you can pass here the current to-do list and give index of the current one this is easy like you have the position and we will take the first one this is the or, or one uh, one item out of the ar uh, array basically the first parameter is going to be the position or the starting point and the second position the second value which we pass as a one it is going to be the delete count or we will delete one item from the array save it now what you are going to do we come to the application here let's see if it work we click on this one yeah it remove it and we can add more item to our list now we have here you can click on this one you can click on this you can click on this it will remove all of those here so if i come to the application again here this is done with javascript so how you do that using vue.js this is this was just fine like this is completely valid if you write it in javascript for now i will comment this one and i will show you how you can do this one using vue.js so coming down in vue.js they have a delete helper like this is like a helper you see this dot dollar sign delete and what you can do this one this is a lot easy if you check out this is going to help also you can pass an object and the second parameter is going to be the key so how you are going to say this one you say this dot the object to do's you pass the to do and for the second parameter you give it the index which is going to be the id now this works the same way as the above but i think this is a lot more readable you delete the position you pass from the current object or the current array list easy you save it and you come to the uh, coding here let's say we have more item to come next of course this is the to do and if you click on the home go to the shop it will remove it remove it remove it and it works the same way as before except this is the Vue.js way of doing it now the another another point is here what if you want to add item above array items now whatever i add here it will append everything at the bottom or append that and in the array what if i want to have it above all so if i come here you have push and for that you can use unshift unshift is going to add the array from the beginning of the array you have here and it will shift everything all the way down so the, if this is zero next time it will become one and the new one will replace it become the zero item so if i come to my code here let us say you can add it yes it works just fine and it will add our item at the top and the other problem is if you click on this one yeah it can add the empty also how you fix that one of course it is easy you can do this one but i will do it quickly so you can write a little condition here if this title is equal to empty do nothing otherwise do this one so what we do is we say if this the title is not going to be empty if it is not empty then add it to our array list and empty the title we save it we come here and let us add more item yes and if you click on the add it will not add anything because it is empty and if you write something it will add that here 
so that was the simple validation of course you will learn about validation more in future videos so it was just a basic example of how you can use the different feature of Vue.js and how it is better than JavaScript so I hope it has been informative for you if you have any question related to what we learn here feel free to ask below the video and coming up we will have some very interesting topics about uh, the e-commerce I think this is not enough about learning Vue.js but definitely we can learn more about Vue.js when we develop our practical application or our e-commerce application so see you in the next video